Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy X-2. Alright, we're here in Bavel, and yeah, so since last time I switched everybody back over to the quote-unquote physical setup I had for LeBlanc's Chateau last time, so yeah. And we did learn some abilities as well, so Yuna, she's uh, set on items level 2 since she learned Dispel Tonic. First opp opportunity we've had to set that since we learned it. And for Riku, we've got her on target MP since she learned Trigger Happy level 3. Awesome. Uh, I'm only learning this for the sake of the skill that it opens up to, so yeah. And for Pain on Thief here, and she's 1 AP away from Slow Proof, and after she learns that, obviously we'll be setting her to learn Stop Proof as well, so yeah. Alrighty, so, oh yeah, and we did get some rewards for uh, getting the reassembled sphere. Uh, where's it? Healing Light Garment Grid here. So, yeah, just a uh, an uber upgrade to the, uh, well, just another upgrade, I guess you could say, to this dress sphere here. You can use full cure with it, so, yeah. And for accessories, we actually got a charm bangle as well, which has no encounters on it, so, yeah, that's one of each. <laughs> um, also, since we got the beaded brooch, I did sell an extra one of the uh, white capes and silver glasses since we no longer need three of those. So I sold those and I did sell the extra defense veil we got as well. So there we go. And I did reorganize my setup to look like this as far as items go since we are out of the uh, star curtains. So that's how we're set up here. And I think that's pretty much it. So let's go. And it looks like we're going to have to fight our way through again. And there's slow proof. Awesome. And two more potions. Huzzah. <laughs> nice to get some high potions. All right. Uh, and yeah, this should automatically set her to stop proof, which it does. Awesome. Keep going. What's this? Break through and you'll be an enemy of Bavel. Get the feeling you guys already see me as the enemy. So I guess I'll do whatever. Alright, Defender. Yeah, I forgot Defenders were the ones that actually had the, the lower HP last time. Alright, little girl. Yeah. I guess so. Alright, let's go. Looks like the uh, the main guy isn't here, so I guess we just head on in. Those guys aren't putting up a fight. What's going on? Uh, maybe just some stragglers causing some problems down there. Oh, these guys are the uh, guards from the road. The Praetor. I don't like the sound of that considering why we're here. you miss some guards just came running through this way is there a situation in Bavella right now I mean barrel I missing I'm assuming it has something to do with Vegna gun or whatever it is no idea uh oh Everybody else missing some vital information? I don't know. What do the intruders look like? <laughs> Did I talked to you already? Yeah, we had to run into a few of those out front. Alright, let's go see. 
Maybe he's just up in his office. No, guess the door's locked. All right, so how are we supposed to get deeper into Bavel? Uh, what's over here? Ooh, that's ominous. Pretty, but ominous. Do anything with it? No. All right. Let's go see if there's anything on the other side. What's this? Needless to say, we are going to be using the brightness enhanced <laughs> templates for these uh, next few episodes. So yeah, we just step on that platform there to open up the wall slash doorway in here. Let's go see where it leads. Oh, what's this? Uh, nothing. All right. How about you. Drive settings changed. Central lift destination altered. Oh. oh I guess and the resonance changed to this one. So yeah, uh, whichever one the resonance is on controls which way the lift goes. So yeah, this one told it to go up to the office. I guess it's an office. Never been there. And uh, this one is telling it to do something else. So let's go see what that something else is. Hopefully we'll get somewhere we need Jeez, to be. Things really are a mess, huh? Yeah. No. 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 Temples reek of secrets. Don't let a couple of fiends throw you. Fortunately, it's not as bad as it was in the last game. <laughs> all right, well, there are fiends here, so I guess I better uh, reset my equipment and all that stuff, and I'll be right back. All right, I've got Yuna set on the Ice Queen Garment Grid here. I was originally going to still use the Helios Guard, but eh, I figured yeah, she could use the Ice Queen here, the... Uh, ice absorption and it's only got three slots on it so yeah should we ever decide to use the flora for all we've got the option open to us and like the uh, helios card there so yeah without having to put an extra dress sphere in there so yeah she's on alchemist here with the fairy earrings and kinesis badge to protect against confusion and slow riku bum rush i have updated the dress sphere or the garment grid as you can see there all that goodness in there Got her on Gunner with the Black Choker and Kinesis Badge. Now, obviously, Riku does have Slow Proof learned with her Thief Dress Sphere, but we could potentially be, well, chances are we will be seeing the Black Mage here. So, yeah, I've got the uh, protection to protect against Slow on both of those so there. So, yeah. And, yeah, we do want that for the Confusion Protection as well, since we've got con Confusion Protection for all three of them now. So, huzzah. And for Pain, she's on Thief here with the Black Choker and Power Wrist. Uh... If she didn't have slope roof learned, obviously I would be putting a kinesis badge here for her. So, yeah. Alrighty, but since we got it learned, we can use the uh, extra damage from pain there. Alright. And just to quickly show you the abilities, the state they're in. Yeah, we haven't learned anything, so I'll just quickly touch on them here. And there we go. Alright, and I did heal up with uh, Yuna here, so there we go. All right, let's go. Let's see what kind of fiends we run into. Oh boy! So yeah, the fiends down here aren't random encounters; they're more or less just fixed encounters. So yeah. All right, we've got a skink and a flan blanco. All right, uh, I think we've seen the blanco before, so yeah. 
as the skink if you recall is the fiend that when it's oversold can inflict confusion and slow so yeah other than that it can inflict poison as well but in any case let's do this uh yeah, let's take out the skink first Skink had 882 HP, in case you were wondering. <laughs> Alright, and yeah, the Flan Blanco. Yeah, might as well just... Oops. Get the Black Mage out. And do some stuff. Uh, do I want a Pilfer Gill here, or do I want to steal? Could get an a, uh, accessory as an a, uh, rare steal, but... Then again, we could use the item as well. And I'll just Pilfer Gill. Burn and cauldron bubble. Alrighty, let's use Fira. And yeah, I may as well heal up. Thank you, Yuna. Oh, I guess only pain, uh, pain needed it. Oh well. Could have probably just used the potion there. As potions do heal twice as much now that Yuna has learned chemist, so yeah. All right, let's go. Nobody learned anything there, no? No, okay. Let's remember. The low AP counts when I last checked. Oh boy, and we've got a new fiend. The Vertigo has 688 HP, 57 MP. You can steal two to three antidotes from him. Uh, no elemental affinities, it is immune to curse and slow, and this one can inflict slow with its eye beam there. Oversold, if you happen to run into it, uh, it has 2,352 HP with 57 MP, you can steal a tarot card from it. It's an accessory that uh, boosts, uh, I believe your magic, I think it's your magic strength by 20, so yeah, pretty decent uh Accessory if you can get your hands on it. And oversold, still no elemental affinities. It is immune to confuse, berserk, curse, and slow. And uh, on top of uh, inflicting slow on you, it does cast, I believe, level 2 elemental magic. So, yeah. Alright, let's do this. Uh, how do we want to handle it? Let's get uh, over to... Oh, I was going put her, to put her to uh, gutter, but I will try it again, I guess. <laughs> There we go. All right, let's do this. That was a lot of damage from pain there <laughs> as a thief. So yeah, there is treasure down here, fortunately. Get three remedies. Yeah, now that we've got the alchemist, Item steals can be quite useful. Since our item stock is essentially ammo for it, if you will. <laughs> oh boy. So yeah, the bl the flans, the skinks, and the vertigos are the only three fiends you fight down here, so yeah. Alright, let's do this. Wow, that didn't take it out. Oh, that did though. You know, yeah, we'll have uh, you to heal it in battle. Fortunately, walking around while you're poisoned on the world map doesn't drain your HP, nor does it play a really, really, really irritating sound. <clears throat> Final Fantasy 1, anyways. Well, the NES version, anyway. Oh boy. Boogity boogity. I can do this blindfolded. Go ahead. <laughs> All right, let's uh, use the remedy on Riku. Trigger happy on that one. All 
Alright. Holy Waters can be useful now as well for an attack ability. I think it's a Holy Water and a Potion. Yeah. It's like an 8 hit combo. <laughs> Alright, 3000 gil. I may use it if I get the opportunity. Right up here, we want to go left. And this chest is guarded by a flan. Alright. That's a big flan. If I didn't say so before. <laughs> Alright, let's, uh. Oh boy, we got an oversoul. All right, Yuna, and, you know, Riku, and you get over there. Shall I bring you or freeze you? Decisions, decisions. Fira on that thing. Let's pilfer gill the uh, skink. Right. There. Yeah, it's healing. Ow! Well, that didn't work out too well. Phoenix down, please. Okay, I might as well actually say what it's got. Alright, so the Skink Oversold has 2,328 HP, 46 MP, uh, 4 to 6 remedies you can steal from it, weak to ice. Uh, immune to poison, confuse, berserk, and curse, and uh, oversold. It loses its ability to poison you, I believe, but it does gain the ability to confuse and slow you. And obviously, that desperate attack there is something to watch out for. So yeah. Ow. And there it goes. Ooh, five remedies out of that thing. All right. And we get four more high potions. Huzzah! Just what we need to keep the mega, mega potions coming. And over here we get eight more potions. Or are we on potions? <laughs> We're probably getting pretty close. Yeah, 83. Yeah. And four more Phoenix Stones. You know what? Since we got them, let's use them. Push in. There we go. Ladies are quite capable. Hey, we broke 30,000 gil. Awesome. I guess they decided to put a lift there. I guess they got tired of having to pick up everybody's corpses after falling off the ledge there. <laughs> and again, it didn't actually kill us, but you know. <laughs> Alright, there's nothing to the left there, so let's just continue on to the antechamber. How's it going, barkeep? In here. Find a chocobo feather. Alright. This is probably the best place to leave off. Fortunately, we're about at 20 minutes here, so let's take a look. Uh, we need to change anything here. Uh, considering what's coming up, I might actually take care of my setup now. So we'll take care of that off screen and I'll be right back. Okay, so for Yuna, I've got her set on the High Road Winds Garment Grid here. As you can see, I changed it to look like that. Got the uh, haste gate there between uh, Alchemist and White Mage there for Yuna. Got her with the muscle belt and glass buckle to protect against uh, poison. 
and obviously it's got a bit more uh, protection as far as defense and magic defense goes so that's why i'm using that instead of uh star pendants for riku she's on bum rush haven't changed anything there she's on gun mage yeah we're breaking that out again and i got her with the power wrist and star pendant there and for pain she's on thief with the silver bracer and star pendant there I actually do recommend this for one specific reason i'm actually implementing one bit of increased difficulty if you will because i feel like it just there's something they allow you to do that i feel like they shouldn't have i mean i understand why because of what we're about to get into but i don't know i find it a bit more fun to go about it the route that i will be going but i will be making aware of what is possible i'm just going to attempt to not use it so yeah but in any case we'll take care of that next time all right so yeah also where we're going there will be multiple uh setups i will be using but we'll get into those then um for the sake of boss fights so yeah in any case let's heal up here Whoop! Oh, well that's that's barkeep but yeah barkeep came with us so yeah we can stock up on some stuff if we like and do I want to max out all my potions here? You know what? Why not? It's 20, 20 potions. Let's just max out on them. Not expecting to get any unless it's like from fight drops. So let's just max them out at 99 and we should be good to go. All right. All right. So we'll uh, deal up here. And next time we'll head into the Chamber of the Faith and see what awaits us. This is Intrepid83 signing off. Formerly known as Cirque 1983, this... No music ambience is really getting to me here, but uh, yeah. If you enjoyed the video, please hit like on your way out. It really does help support the series here and the channel. And for those who uh, dislike the video, feel free to hit the dislike button. Maybe leave a comment suggesting how it can improve. And until next time, and in any case, take care, be blessed. Thank you for spending some of your time here, and have a good one.